Well, good morning, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on August 16th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another video for Morning Dew. We're going to start out here looking at the sun as there's still not much activity at all to talk about. CME ejected the other day, affecting the corona. You can see here in the diagram. Small, semi-active sunspot region there, equatorial. Looking at another light here, able to see plasma. I want to thank everybody for watching today. And welcome to all my new subscribers. Welcome to the family. Looking here at the real-time solar wind. Not much to talk about there either. Steady at 387 kilometers per second. The earthquakes... That's another thing to talk about. Did anybody feel these earthquakes last night? Look at this. 4.1. Esther Hazy, Canada, on the border with, with Saskatchewan and Manitoba, as well. Manhattan, Montana, with a 4.2 and a 3.4. Old Faithful, Geyser, Wyoming, with a 3.5 as well. Kansas, 4.2. So what is going on in North America right now? Huh. All these earthquakes around Yellowstone, Old Faithful, all along California really makes me wonder. Makes me a little bit fearful as well. So please stay aware and prepared. Have a plan. Be ready for a large quake on the west coast of North America. Looking around the last 24 hours, largest quake was a 5.2 in Afghanistan. 210 kilometer depth deepest earthquake here is in Fiji 349 kilometer depth sorry New Zealand with a 349 kilometer depth and that's the earthquakes for the last 24 hours still watching this quiet zone Cascadia fault line Cascadia subduction zone Let's go to the Pacific Disaster Center here, check out the latest disasters from around the world, get an update on the volcanoes. So we still have Tropical Storm Kurosa, who has gone across Japan now and is heading up into Korea and Russia. Looking at the latest volcanoes, Reventador, Fuego, Popo, Sengang, Semenkaya, and Dokono. This is all in the last couple hours that they've gotten an update. So that means they have actively erupted in the last couple hours. So stay aware and prepared. Volcanic regions. So last night I uh, I was at an open jam. I went to uh, a friend's op uh, open mic and performed three songs. It was a great time. But I wasn't watching the earthquakes and... Like, literally, these earthquakes were going on last night while I was on stage. So, um, this is why I didn't even report them last night, or else I would have reported it. I would have made a video about the 4.1 in the Canadian border here. Now, let's look at windy.com. Now, I was talking about the West Coast being very dry. Well, things are about to change drastically uh, northern sections of the west coast are going to be dealing with very close to hurricane winds as this low pressure cell from the pacific moves into the cascades now deep lower level troughs in the past have a history of causing earthquakes, atmospheric compression earthquakes. And this is slamming straight into Cascadia. So stay aware and prepare the next week or so as you guys will have quite a storm heading to the coastline there. Watch for an uptick in seismicity. So later in the week here, we will have a tropical storm heading up Mexico coastline. And then heading west into the Pacific. I'm 
windy.com showing a very slow moving tightly whipped hurricane right up into Saturday next week then there you can see it starts to turn left and go straight out to the West Pacific so you know I've showed you here the, the northern hemisphere and now let's look at the southern hemisphere a little bit crazy down there compared to the north uh, let's put this into motion here next six days Look at that madness. So all those purples and pinks, reds, those are all very strong winds. And look at the size of these low pressure systems in the Southern Hemisphere. Y'all seen the movie Day After Tomorrow? <laughs> Just saying. I really hope you enjoy my videos. Don't forget to hit that like button. Do that right now if you want. All right, let's go to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteo Mike. Looking at that deep lower level low, which came from the Nevada desert last week and moved into parts of Canada. And it is now gathering strength and moisture moving east, northeast, into... Hudson Bay and Quebec. So watch as that storm comes across, rips across the land, will bring extreme weather towards Central Plains and as well Ontario, Northern Ontario and Quebec. Across Alberta, cool down is beginning. That's right, see all that white stuff? That's snow falling into BC mountains, North BC. And then watch as this low pressure system comes in from the Pacific and does the same thing. No Pineapple Express for you, my friend Bottle Caps. And as well, J-Dog, give you a big shout out, J-Dog. This is the second shout out in a week or so. I hope you're watching, my friend. Overlook in the Pacific, deep lower level troughs seem to hang around because there's nothing to disrupt them. They're too deep, they're too large, too organized. So some of these low pressure systems will spin around the Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere for weeks. The same low pressure system. Monsoon rains still not calming down. across Europe the cool down begins as well large deep lower level low coming from the north still no storms in the Atlantic to talk about watching later in the week for the tropical storm to form off the coast of Mexico heading into the Pacific I want to thank everybody for watching today this has been Mike with morning dew daily events worldwide stay aware prepared stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Thanks for watching today. Bye bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.